Hey folks, this is, uh, well, it's a pipe. Uh, it's closed off at one end right now, and now it's open at, the, uh, at both ends. Uh, it has a certain length, and now it has a certain new length. It's an adjustable open pipe or a closed pipe. And so we can use this to learn something about standing waves in pipes. In particular, standing waves that we excite with a tuning fork. So if I leave this as a closed pipe and hold, strike the tuning fork and then hold it at, uh, at the end here, we can do this with an open pipe too, um, we'll find that there are certain areas where we have resonance. And you'll be able to tell that just by listening to it. I'll show you how to uh, um, find this with the Explorer probes too. Uh, if you want to do some extra analysis with this. Um, so pretty straightforward with the tuning forks. When they get little nicks in them, they don't quite ring at the pitch that, uh, that we expect them to. Um, so instead of uh, hitting them on a hard surface that might nick them, just use uh, the bottom of your shoe. That works pretty well. So just strike it on the bottom of the shoe, and then we're going to hold it in front of this tube. And I'm going to try and do this by myself. It's easier with an extra pair of hands. We just adjust the length. Until we hear that sound get way louder all of a sudden. Strike it one more time. So here it is, away from the pipe and over the pipe. We're exciting a nice, uh, a nice harmonic there, a nice standing wave. So then we can measure the length of our closed pipe. Just grab a meter stick to do that. Um, we know that we have resonance there. So we have some idea of what kind of a wave shape fits in this pipe if we're getting resonance. We don't know which harmonic it is, but we can figure that out just by trying it at some different harmonic. Now, this uh, experiment can be used for a number of different uh, purposes. One that's pretty classic here is to figure out the speed of sound in air for the place where you're, uh, uh, where you're located. Uh, so we start by assuming that the tuning forks are actually ringing at the pitch they're supposed to ring at, which is a pretty good assumption usually. And uh, you know, we can measure the length of the pipe for some different harmonics and work out what the speed of sound is. Uh, you can try that for closed pipes and open pipes. Uh, you might try it in a few different locations, maybe do these once inside the classroom and take them outside once and do it out there. Look at uh, you know, whether we have the same speed of sound in the air in here versus outside or in the hallway or uh, somewhere else in the building. Um, you might look at uh, how the speed of sound is changed by temperature, if you can find one space that's a little cooler and one space that's a little warmer. Uh, yeah, that might be a, a good, good approach for this one. Uh, so, you know, a fair, fair number of things you can do with this. Uh, I would probably go along the lines of something with the, the speed of sound, but I, I like these experiments being open because I'm sure you guys have ideas that I haven't had for how these things can be used. So by all means, be creative and, uh, and use these to do something that I haven't thought of. Now I said I was going to show you the Explorer Probe, let's take a look at that next. The Explorer Probe has a built-in sound sensor. Um, so there's no attachments needed on, uh, on this. We're just going to go from our home menu to sensors. And then down here, F3 takes us to microphone. And so we're going to do the sound level sensor on this one. Okay, now the samples per second. We don't need this to be very high. We're not going to make very rapid adjustments to this. So five samples per second is probably just fine. Um, probably won't need to uh, do any averaging on these. So the basic settings should be fine. We just need to tell it, hey, use the sound level sensor. Uh, and then we'll go back home and to our graph. So now this is going to give us a value for sound levels in decibels. And that's just a unit for loudness. So if I uh, just strike the tuning fork and hold it in place, we can get an idea for what that graph looks like even without the resonance. Um, aspect of it. So let's try that now. So I'll start this up. And we get a pretty consistent level when I'm not talking. And as soon as I start talking, it goes up. Hey! Hey! Up! Oh! I'm changing the pitch there, but uh, really what this is detecting is the loudness. The sound level is the loudness for that sound. 
So every time I talk, I'm making the room louder than it is when I'm not talking. It doesn't matter what pitch I'm at. Okay, let's stop that. Next, let's uh, try bringing in our resonance tube here. And I'm just going to get this roughly to the right position because it's going to be tough for me to operate all this stuff with uh, just me. Uh, but let me get this adjusted. Okay, so that's roughly where it needs to be, and we'll start our um, data gathering again here, and... All right, we see those rises in volume when we bring the tuning fork next to the end of this pipe. That's a good indicator that we found that um, uh, that harmonic. So uh, try it one more time and I'm just going to adjust this one to one that isn't the right length for that harmonic and we'll try starting this again. And we see no change on that one when you go from having the tuning fork above the pipe to having it right at the end. And so uh, that would be an indicator that right now it's not adjusted to a length that allows for standing waves to form in that. Uh, so mostly you can just hear these, you can, you can pick that up, but this is a good way to, to check your work. Um, the only downside to this one is that uh, it's relying on the computer's sense of just how loud the environment is and that getting, uh, that, that value changing, which isn't necessarily going to be easy with a room full of people doing the experiment. So you might find it easier to uh, do this by ear, at least at the beginning, and then uh, just check your work against the, uh, the Explorer probe to make sure that you have exactly the right, uh, the right position on that. So that's about it. You know, figure out uh, speed of sound, or if you have a better idea for something you can do with that apparatus, then try it out. Let me know what you're thinking on this. Uh, be creative and ask some questions and see, if, see what questions you can answer. Uh, and let's... Do some science.